write historical fiction, and I'm often asked, how do you conduct your research? That process varies with each book, but whenever possible, I use primary sources. In researching Roland and Lizzie's story for my novel, With This Pledge, I had the pleasure of getting with Captain Roland Ward Jones's great, great, great grandson, David Doty. David shared with me the love letters between Roland and Lizzie, along with the family history, and I'm so grateful for this wealth of resources and intimate insights, which, of course, I incorporated into the story. But what happens when a writer plums the depths of historical resources and finally reaches a conclusion only to have history rear its lovely head and tell her otherwise, after the book has been published? That happened to me with my novel, With This Pledge. The older slave woman who served as Carnton's cook in real life is a secondary character in With This Pledge, and also in the novella that introduced the Carnton novel series, Christmas at Carnton. Since the cook's real name was unknown to us, I gave her the name Tempe and offered a brief explanation behind her name. She'd had quite the temper as a young girl. But in July of 2018, I learned that due to recently unearthed information about the slaves at Carnton, the woman I'd called Tempe was likely named Suki. Seriously? Christmas at Carnton and With This Pledge were already published. I'd already named the woman Tempe, and changing the name of a character in a series is simply not done. What's a writer to do? Well. I decided to incorporate this detail into the second full-length novel in the Carnton novel series. In a twist of fate, Tempe will discover, along with readers who've grown to love her as I have, that her real name is Suki. You gotta love history and researching it, and I do. And I'm also sincerely grateful to you for taking these journeys with me in my Carnton novels.